Here's one for you to try. The product of two consecutive page numbers is 420. Find the page numbers. Try it on your own, pause this video, and then we'll compare notes and do it together. Okay, let's do it together. Two consecutive page numbers. Okay, well, let's see. What does that mean? Let's let X be the first page. Okay, so let's just do it like this. Let X be the first page. Well, then what is the next page? The next consecutive page. Consecutive means the page right after it. So that must be this. X plus 1 for the next page. No matter where we start, say we start on page 20, 20 plus 1 is 21, that's the next page. That's, that holds for any number here. So two consecutive page numbers, x and x plus 1. That always happens when they, when they say two consecutive anythings, it's always x and x plus 1. Um, within reason, it could be two consecutive even or odd numbers, in which case it would be x and x plus 2. Um, but that's not what this one's talking about. Okay, two consecutive page numbers, and it says the word product here. Product means multiply. Okay, so let's work it out. The product, x times x plus 1, is, okay, is translates mathematically to equals, oftentimes in, these context, in this context at least, is 420, equals 420. And now we have something to solve. Remember, x squared on one side equals 0 on the other. That's something to keep in mind. Now it's not entirely clear, but this is actually an x squared. This is an x squared problem. Okay, so let's do that. We need to get it equal to zero before we can proceed. So let's see here. I'm going to distribute this x through x squared plus x minus 420 equals zero. And now we have something like that. Something that we can actually factor. Okay. Here we go. Um, so negative 420 up here and 1 here since our B term is 1. Remember C goes up here, B goes here. This is our C term. Whoops. This whole thing is our C term and this bit here is our B term. Okay, and then we get our factors here. Okay, when this is 1 and this is negative, we start in the middle. How do we find the middle? Just take the square root of 420. So our goal is to find factors of negative 420 that add to the number 1. Okay, I don't want to start, I don't want to go, okay, 420, negative. I don't want to go 1 and 420, no. 2 and 2, that would take a long time. So I'm just going to start, I'm going to take the square root of 420. So I'm breaking out my calculator here. Square root of 420 is about 20.5. 420, whoops, 420 is about 20.5. So what that tells me, and that's how we get to the middle. Since it's 1, we want to be in the middle. Um, so let's start with, I don't know, maybe 20. 420 divided by 20. That's 21. Okay, so in factoring 420, so I saw this and I said, oh, I'm going to try 20 and then maybe 21. And indeed, when I divided on my calculator, 420 by 20 is 20 times 21. And look what we have there. Those are nice factors of 420. We can tweak the, the negatives a little bit and get these to add to 1. Let's work on these positives and negatives. 1 is positive, so I'm going to put the positive term with the bigger number, the negative term with the smaller. So this is negative 20 times positive 21. There we go. Those numbers multiply to four negative 420, but when you add them, you get positive 1. So those are the two numbers we we're looking for. Let's put them here under our x's, minus 20, plus 21, and these give us our factors. So we have x minus 20, x plus 21 equals 0. Okay, set each one of these equal to 0 x minus 20 equals 0, x plus 21 equals 0, that's the zero factor property. 
This gives us x equal 20, x equal negative 21. Well, these are page numbers. So I don't recall ever seeing a book with negative page numbers, so I'm going to ditch this term. Okay, so we're left with x equals 20. If we were to just circle this as our answer, it wouldn't be quite correct. Let's go back to the problem and ask, see what it asks us for. Find the page numbers. Okay, so the page numbers are actually 20 and 21. So here's our answer. Right, because it asks for two consecutive page numbers. We, we found the, the first one, 20, and then x plus 1 is the next page, 21. There we go.